Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and welcome to another Fire Emblem Heroes Summoning Session. Today we have the new Legendary Heroes Deirdre banner, but funny enough, the star of the show is not our target. Although she does look fairly solid, we are here instead with our eyes set on grabbing some fodder. In particular, we are looking to get Gustav. Papa Geralt is coming, and I would really like to get him AD near trace in particular, but uh, there are only two units in the game at the moment that have that skill, which are Bridal Catria, who is not coming back anytime soon, being a seasonal locked unit, and dear old dad Gustav here. Of course, it could show up on one of next month's upcoming banners, but that is fairly unlikely, and we would much prefer to grab him here. So, so the plan is to grab Alphonse's dead dad and trade him in to buff up Byleth's living dad. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Uh, equivalent exchange or whatever. <laughs> and he also comes with attack smoke, which is a pretty nice throw in for him. Could be useful if I want to try an enemy phase focused Geralt build, but I do think AD near trace is the more helpful skill at the moment. And he is sharing with two good greens, making the green lineup very solid for me this time around. And he is sharing with two greens, making the green lineup very solid this time around. One of them is Thor, who, funny enough, despite being on the A Hero Rises banner, I did not get any copies of somehow. But she has Flow Guard and Attack Def Push, which, funny enough, could also both be decent fodder for Papa Geralt. Not sure if Flow Guard or Trace are better than each other, but they could both be useful. Attack Def Push I don't think is the optimal A slot, but it is an option and we could just grab it with Flow Guard, so not bad fodder by any means. Also wouldn't mind just having a Thor to keep. And then Triandra still holds up pretty well, uh, nice skills, Attack Speed Push is fairly universal, Speed Res Rain also pretty great. And of course she has her Pref Dance and is just very good by virtue of being a dancer. And I would love to have a copy to put on Dark Defense, since I had one and foddered her to Morgan. Oops. <laughs> Hopefully she'll forgive us and maybe pop up for us. And then the other colors, blue with the star of the show Deirdre here, pretty solid. Uh, has that new annoying miracle effect that they're putting on a bunch of units. And I say annoying, it's not really that difficult to deal with and play around, it's really just that, it's just annoying. <laughs> but she does look pretty solid, could be a good anti-dragon unit, never a bad thing to have lying around. Would probably just keep her, and then she is joined by, funny enough for being an anti-dragon unit, two dragons. Mur has Dragon Wall and Def Res Unity, which would be great for Papa Garen. And Faye has Distant Stance and Dragon's Ire, which also would be great for Papa Garen. So blue, fantastic backup color for us. Colorless, looking pretty good, but not quite as enticing as the other two. Ash has Attack Def Unity and Lull Attack Def. Both skills I have extra of, and of course we got the free Ash. Rhea I use on my Dark Defense, but she does have DR Near Save and Bracing Stance, which would be great extra fodder to have lying around. And then Corrin, the least enticing of the group, but still not bad. DC and Joint Drive Attack are pretty universally useful. And then finally, on red is <laughs> a mixed bag here. I heard someone refer to this as basically being them taking out the trash on red and get getting a bunch of units that are due up for reruns on red out of the way that aren't quite as enticing as a lot of the other picks. And uh, yeah, I can kind of see that. Selif hasn't aged the best. I have him, but I pretty much never use him. DC is still pretty good fodder though, like I said for Corrin. And then Galzas has Surge Sparrow and no follow-up. Both pretty good, but I don't think he's the most desirable unit to build overall for a lot of people. And then Hugh has Rouse Attack Speed, which is actually pretty solid. And then Speed Def Ideal, which isn't bad, but speed def is just kind of a wonky combo, so I'm not sure how many units actually want that. But anyway, our priorities are green, then blue, then colorless, then red. 
we managed to climb back up to 565 orbs, which is pretty good for almost a month of saving after spending most of our orbs last month, but I was really hoping we could skip this month and save a little longer. But we've got to get those fancy skills for Papa Gerald, so unfortunately we've got to dip into the orb stash once again. Hopefully we don't have to spend too much. Alright, let's rally luck and bring home that, well, off to a fantastic start. <laughs> All right, let's get something nice for the free summon. I'd love some nice fodder for Papa Garen, but alas, just Seteth. Love you, Seteth, but not who we're looking for this time around. But yeah, uh, I really was hoping that I could just save this month, but alas, here we are once again pulling Ninos just as I yes intended. <laughs> But I am, ooh, lots of blues. If I were pulling blue specifically, this would be a fantastic wheel, but alas, not what we're hoping for this time around. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm just super excited for Geralt, and I was kind of hoping that Gustav would show up next month with Byleth and Xander, but unfortunately he came just a month early, and we've got a go in on him this time with no luck so far but we haven't spent that many orbs so it's fine it's fine hoping that next month i can just kind of skip again all the uh small banners and just save for that end of the month i'm actually kind of surprised that they managed to put together a banner that was this good for me on green without either Byleth or Xander because those are the most appealing units, but Gustav and Thor are both really solid. Not characters that I would normally be that enticed over, but they are they just so happen to be perfect pulls for Geralt. And with him showing up in the Grail shop soon, it seems suspiciously good timing. A very calculated ploy to get at my orbs, I suppose. <laughs> and we just got a barter. So far, 7 of 40 in. Nothing too exciting. Not even, not even like an echidna for nice drive attack or anything. And Americ, not super exciting. Come on, give us, give us the greens. We need to eat our greens. All right, come on, something cool. No, <laughs> another barter. Alas. Uh, speaking of green, I've been seeing a lot of it. I've been running around Sumeru and Genshin, and there's so much green. <laughs> Also, speaking of Deirdre being like the Lady of the Forest, reminds me of the uh, new quest line, the very long one. If you've played it, you know what I'm talking about. It, it was a very good quest, but it is very, very long. <laughs> Hopefully, these summons do not go quite as long as that. And here I was worried for a moment. Oh, there you go. That's a really good wheel, actually. That's almost like a pull all of them wheel. If I had Fae Pass, maybe, and I was going to Spark... Luthier? Actually, that's a good that's a good pull. Finally, something actually good to have in green. But, uh, what was I saying? Anyway, the, uh, the long quest is very good, but very long. <laughs> that was the main thing I was getting at. And, uh, yeah, we are 9%. Oof. All right, come on, no. <laughs> Mustafa, I don't remember you having anything super good for fodder, right? Def Tactic and Water Boost. Ooh boy, Water Boost, my favorite. Yeah, 
and just one green this time. Significantly less exciting on this wheel, unfortunately. Gunter, the wrong axe cab. He, you know, Gustav is dead. Gunther doesn't look too far away from joining him, honestly. <laughs> Poor Gunther. I actually like him. When is he getting a a fancy alt? He he could he could have a fun one. But alas, they are cowards. But three more greens. This is another really good wheel. Again, tempting to pull all of these. If we go all the way to Spark and we don't have Gustav, I really might just go get Fey Pass. And then redeem it and get a spark for this banner and the next month's legendary banner. Grab both and spark Byleth <laughs> next month. Very tempting option if we don't get the Gustav. Might legitimately be worth it even if there's no resplendence I want this next month. Oh, cool. There's an atlas. I think this is our first atlas. Yeah, he wasn't even given away for free. He was the... He was the demote on the banner, so we didn't have him at all. Threat and attack def is actually nice <laughs> fodder for various menace skills, but earth boost. I was just talking about how my, my favorite skill, water boost, we got that on Mustafa, and we got my new favorite skill, earth boost, on Atlas. Perfect. Cannot believe they are throwing earth boost at us in 2022 with no upgraded skill attached to it. Very, very fun, IS. Sometimes I don't know what they're thinking. They are thinking about giving us a Repo Man, which I'm not going to complain about. That's, that's actually two pretty decent greens and uh, Merrick as well. <laughs> Merrick is not one of the decent greens unfortunately for him but still so far almost to 20 summons and we haven't gotten anything too mind-blowing come on Gustav right here nope Balthus <laughs> Ah, uh, the King of Grappling. Very cool, but not who we're looking for this time around. Oh, we've, we've gotten, like, I think three wheels with three greens, which is pretty nice, but it's only super helpful if those greens actually contain stuff that we need. Basilio, cool, but again, similar to Balthus, not who we're looking for. At least the uh, quality of our greens have gone up a little bit Lex if we got that Thor we could fodder Lex for the attack death push and again nothing Libra no it's pretty funny though I feel like I've been pulling green a lot more like the last year. <laughs> there was the Dudu summons, there was pretty much since Legendary Byleth got added and then we finished the Robin. We've been on green a lot. <laughs> Dudu for the Summer Three Houses banner, all the Legendary Byleth banners and the Hero Rises banners, and also kind of Dimitri while going for Claude. Just a lot of greens. <laughs> so many greens. And yet, no green orbs. <laughs> Not on this wheel, anyway. And yet, just a Soren. Wow, this is actually pretty unlucky. 10% on Legendary Hero Banner is pretty sad. Come on, give us... Give us, no, not Wrath. I'm thinking, like, give us Triandra in one of these and then Gustav in the other one. That would be good. That would be nice. Hmm. 
Basilio, no. <laughs> I forget, what did you have again? I, I'm constantly forgetting. Attack tactic and attack death bond, yeah. Not the greatest fodder in the world, unfortunately. And another Gunter. Yay! <laughs> Alright, we gotta rally, rally, rally the luck because this is not working. <laughs> I think I burned all my luck on Genshin this month. Oh, well, there's there's the, the green luck. I was gonna say, I, I think I spent it all on Genshin because I got the really good Dendro Goblet just like uh, less than a week after Sumeru dropped and they added Dendro Goblets, so that was very rare and very lucky. I also got some other good artifacts. <laughs> I was doing artifact hunting on stream and got a lot of good stuff, and I guess that's where all my luck went. Gustav, where are you? Man, I, I always forget how much I hate legendary mythic banners until I'm actually summoning on one. Ugh. These things are painful. Violand, I forgot you were even in this. You and your square head. Your very square head. I do not like you. Uh, wasn't he from Shadow Dragon? I think I might have had him and I benched him. I don't remember. Uh, attack Def Link and Attack Def Push actually could be useful for Gerald, but... No, not not happy to see you still. <laughs> Come on, Gustav! No. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is actually bad. This is actually getting very bad. No. <laughs> Cursed green orbs. How dare you. Uh, green also, every time uh, you kind of forget how bad it is to pull. Colorless too. Colorless also has a lot of junk. But green. What are we even getting that's good in green? Luthier. <laughs> Luthier and the Repo Man. And Echidna, who we have not seen. Those are the main things that I like in green. Uh, if I get a, bl a legendary here, I'm going to be very big sad. Do not eat my pity. Thank you. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see a Matilda in my life. Oh no. Oh no, again. Matilda. Matilda, bless me with your presence. Oh, Lucas. That's fine as well. <laughs> Acceptable. I can't believe I'm being saved by the Echoes cast. <laughs> there we go. Two more greens. Come on. Gustav. How? How? <laughs> Genuinely, how? How is this going so poorly? Not a single unit in 40 pulls almost. I really might have to just buy Fey Pass for this. <laughs> Gross. Violin, get your square head out of my face! Man. Gustav is very clearly still cursed by hell because he is killing my orbs. Frederick, you're not the right axe calf. Oh, no. This was very bad. Unfortunately, sometimes luck is like a pendulum, and it swings very well in your favor, and then it just swings back the other way, right into the absurd territory, which is what this is. I cannot believe this. <laughs> 40 pulls and no... No unit. Sad. 
I really might have to go get Fey Pass. Ugh. Well, I want to at least break the pity at this point because that's absurd. 12%. Unluckiest Legendary Mythic Hero banner I've ever done? Probably. I can't decide if this is more or less de demoralizing if this was actually my Byleth pulls and I just went that entire time with no Byleth and no Xander. Bowie, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The Echoes characters are only supposed to come and save me when there's no green orbs. That's the only time. <laughs> Gustav. No. Barter, you're a dad, but you're not dead, so you don't count. Get out of here. <laughs> Gustav has truly killed my orbs this day. Hell, what have you done to me? Uh... No! <laughs> Arthur, you're bad luck. I do not need a companion in misery at this time. Thank you. 12.5. Yeah, I really did burn all my luck on Genshin this month. Very sad. I did have a decent free summon for Fey as well, but... Those collectively used all my luck, apparently. Oh, uh, well, it's something at least. You know, of all the, the four star specials in green, it's not the worst one we could have gotten. And it is something, and it didn't break our pity, so... Hooray. <laughs> I can't even really be excited about free DC at this point, because, like, what is this? 12.5. Big sis. Big sis, come here, I need a hug. This is awful. <laughs> this is a very bad day. Gustav. Oh my goodness, I actually hit the cap. How? All right, a little more. Oh, I am regretting this immensely. All for you, Papa Gerald. All for you. <laughs> Why? Will you love me now, Dad? Will you love me now? <laughs> Oh, it wasn't even the right hero. Honestly, the least useful of the three. I mean, like... I'm glad to have her, but, like... She has nothing for Dad. Nothing. Literally nothing. She cannot help him at all. And I'm at 12.5. I might as well just pull the blues, too. <laughs> oh, Gustav, how could you? Colm, no. Uh, give me, give me Tiki or Mur, so I can at least give something to the other dad, <laughs> so I can give it to Papa Garen. Oh, we got Deirdre. Very cool. She also has literally no fodder that I can use for for my dad. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. And a Muriel to end. Hooray. Guys, we broke the pity at 12.5%. Huzzah. Oh. I really might just go get Fey Pass to get Gustav. Alright, this is the Brandon of the future. <laughs> 
I am back, and after much deliberation, I have decided to go ahead, and we are going to just force the issue. Death and bad luck may both be inevitable, but guess what? So am I. Gustav, you're coming home. And I don't want to make this a frequent thing by any means, but having this legendary banner and the one next month for Byleth and Xander, both being ones that I want to spark on, makes it at least kinda worth it this time around. But I definitely don't want this to become a constant thing where I'm just, every time I need something, I just spark it. All right, Gustav, get in here. By the time I'm done with you, you will weep with joy when I send you back to hell. You have no idea the intense training session I'm going to put you through to wring every last resource out of you before I give you to Gerald. Alright, back to past Brandon for the ending. Well, that's gonna do it for me, I think. That was way too many orbs for... A lot of disappointment. <laughs> uh, that's the thing with luck. No one is safe. Even if you're super lucky, sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you planned. Uh... But I wish you all... Better luck than I had this time. I think this might legitimately be my unluckiest summoning session. <laughs> I'm not sure, but this is up there for sure. Until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon, signing out. <laughs> you die when I say you die. <laughs>